our customer, Jill Brown, is in the market to update her phone. She logs into her operator's website and starts looking at the phones and tablets and offers that are contextually relevant to her. She looks at the Apple iPhones that her friends have recommended and selects the pink iPhone and adds it to her basket. After selecting the phone, Jill is presented with eligible add-ons and accessories, including insurances and partner products such as Spotify. Jill makes her selection and checks her basket. The Tipco platform has calculated the prices for Jill so she can see the one-time costs and recurring charges. However, Jill doesn't want to buy right now and she saves her basket into her wish list. Shortly after, she receives a text message with a reference to the wish list and a web link so that it's easy for her to come back to later. Jill decides she wants to have a look at the phone before buying and a few days later she visits one of her operator's retail stores. She talks to the store manager who uses the customer dashboard where he can easily see the orders his store has taken and the status and progress of these orders and stock levels. While talking to Jill, the store manager locates Jill's account and is able to confirm her identification. He can see all Jill's key information and along the top he can see that Jill is already a customer and he can quickly get a brief summary of all the contacts she has had with the operator. He can see her previous interactions, her previous orders she's made and he can see the current products and the previous products she has owned. If needed, the store manager can drill down even further into previous orders by looking at the omni-channel order management analytics. For example, he can see the order management KPIs, the average execution of orders, and the orders that have completed or are still in progress. Even further detail can be found for specific orders by looking at the order plan and its order line item decomposition, and then further detail regarding the dynamic execution of each plan item where he can see the actual order plan execution, noting plan execution times, and cases where jeopardy was detected and handled. All this helps the store manager provide an excellent customer experience for his customers. The store manager can see that Jill has already created a wish list via the online channel, and he is able to look at this wish list and see the products Jill was interested in. Triggered by the store manager looking into Jill's account and the existence of a wish list, the Tipco Insights platform has suggested a targeted and contextually relevant offer for Jill. Offers are modelled by using a combination of data and behavioural analytics and reference data. For example, this could be based on Jill's predicted lifetime value, her propensity to churn, or just high and ageing stock levels, and so on. In this case, the Insights platform is offering an iPhone 6 with the same data plan. After discussion with the store manager, Jill decides she prefers the offered phone even though it will need to be delivered to her home over the next couple of days. The store manager places the order for Jill and shortly after, Jill receives a notification message from the Tipco order management system notifying her that the order has been placed. In the background, the order management platform has been orchestrating any network changes and the placement of the order against the various backend systems, resulting in Jill's order being dispatched for delivery to her house. Jill wants to check the status of her order. Using the APIs provided by the Tipco platform, the operator has been able to easily create an application so that Jill can check her order status using her favorite IoT device. Eager to know? She simply asks her Amazon Echo. Alexa, ask Tipco for latest orders, please. Sure, let me check your latest order by calling the relevant APIs. Your latest order was received today. Its order number is 141F and is planned to arrive on the 27th of February 2017. Do you want to know what products you have ordered? Should I look it up for you? Yes, please. Sure. Let me check what you have bought. In your last order from today, you have ordered two products. Number one is one gigabyte of data in 300 minutes per month. Number two is Apple iPhone 6S, 128 gigabyte, space gray. By the way, a very nice phone. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. OK, always here to serve. 
Jill has to travel unexpectedly to Edinburgh on urgent business. When she steps off the plane, she receives a text notification from Tipka Order Management reminding her of the delivery details of her order. Jill realises she won't be at home to receive her new phone and needs to amend her order. She clicks on the link which takes her to the web page showing her current order status. She checks her order and clicks on the amend button. Jill only wants to amend her order so that she can collect from a retail store near her location in Edinburgh. The Tipco solution maintains a single view of stock and so is able to find a retail store with stock availability near her location. Jill selects the store that best suits her and submits the order for amendment. In the background, the Tipco order management platform dynamically re-evaluates the order plan, orchestrating the cancellation of the original order and placing the new order against the store in Edinburgh. Here we see the hierarchical view of an offer, assembled from products and technical services, including pricing, commercial eligibility and rules for automated plan generation by the order manager. Looking at the dashboard, we can see the order journey moving from ordered to dispatched and then waiting for collection. And we can see that the journey history shows the frequency and the timing of these events. Jill receives a text advising her that the amended order is ready for collection. It contains details of the store location and the contact phone number. Realising she doesn't know Edinburgh too well, she uses those details to call the call centre. Using the customer dashboard, the call agent can view all aspects of a call centre, including call volumes, queue times, call durations and call details by type. The call agent takes Jill's call, which opens the customer dashboard. Here, the agent can see Jill's order and that it's waiting for collection at the store. Jill needs to find out more about the store location and what documentation is needed to collect her new phone. The call agent opens up the storyboard for pick up at store inquiries. She steps Jill through the process, checking that she has received the order information via text messages and confirms that Jill has the right documentation, including photo ID and proof of address. Jill is good to go as she has a passport and a car rental agreement with a home address on it. The final step is to give Jill details of the store, its location, where she might park and perhaps offer additional information such as a location of a nice coffee shop to celebrate her new purchase. Later that day Jill goes to the store and picks up her new phone and as she leaves the store she receives a thank you text from the Tipco order manager and this text includes an offer for 20% discount of her next purchase of accessories. The store manager completes the customer's journey by notifying the Tipco order manager that the order has been collected so the stock levels can be committed and the customer journey analytics can be updated. So let's review Jill's customer journey using the customer dashboard. She created a wish list from the online channel and after accepting an offer prompted by Tipco Insights the order was placed at a local store. She was able to query her order status using her favourite IoT device and then was able to make an order amendment via her phone, being able to locate a new store with stock near her current location. Then, Jill called customer services to help get information about the new store location. At each step of Jill's journey, each channel had all the information needed about Jill and her order, and text notifications kept her informed. You'll recall that when Jill took delivery of her phone, she received a promotion code. Shortly after getting home from her trip, she's on Facebook, keeping in touch with family and friends, and perhaps telling everyone what a great service she's just had buying her new phone. Jill decides to look up the telco's Facebook page, and immediately she's greeted by their chatbot. Jill thinks about the promotion code to see what offers she may be entitled to. So Jill asks the AI. The cloud-based AI chatbot is integrated via Tipco's Connected Intelligence Cloud and is very quickly able to verify Jill using her customer ID and confirm that she has a promotion code. The chatbot calls into the Tipco Fulfillment Orchestration Suite APIs to retrieve the eligible products and services for Jill. Jill is specifically interested in the free offers, having just spent quite a bit buying her new phone. The Tipco solution retrieves Jill's eligible products which are relevant to her new phone and its model. Jill decides to take the insurance option 
After all, she does do a lot of travelling. The Tipco solution places the order and arranges for delivery to her home. This omni-channel platform has been possible by the combination of Tipco integration, analytics, business process management and most importantly the underlying catalogue driven order management system. This system is called Tipco Fulfillment Orchestration Suite and it enables a single mastered catalogue to define products, services, prices and bundles that drives an automated plan generation and execution runtime.